Now I can see you, Bwana. Sikuwa nime kuona yote mingine, but ni sawa. It is the 22nd day of January 2024. Finally, I've caught, grasped the, the fact that we are now 2024, not, no longer 2023. But uh, I don't believe it. How is January over? How? Anyway, pertaining to that particular fact that January is almost over, we have a question on our social media platform then, and the thesis is this troublesome January, apart from booking Airbnb, the spending skamagani ume suspend hadi he long month ishe. But admin, you just had to slide Airbnb in that. But anyway, it's fine. This troublesome January again, apart from booking Airbnb, the spending skamagani ume suspend hadi he long month ishe. But again, Steph did tell us, uh, that's at Stephanie yet on everything. She did tell us January is the month of champions. So I choose to believe that this January is not troublesome. No, I have refused. Hashtag is MCM. That is a Monday where we crush on our gentlemen. Or the generic hashtag is white in the morning. My name is Valentine or at color me Val. You can interact with us at Y54 Facebook, Y254 channel on X, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. And of course, those other wonderful social media platforms. Now with me, without further ado, we're just going to dive into this. I believe this is a very interesting conversation that's about to come up. So please do keep your devices ready in case you have something to say to him uh, before he leaves the set or in case you want to just give us your two cents. It's going to be lit, by the way. Anyway, allow me to introduce one Lawi Oyugi. Let me just read for you before we get to him. He is a distinguished human rights advocate mm, with a prominent presence in the realms of political and environmental activism, currently serving as a national chairman of Bunge La Wananchi in Kenya. Oyugi also holds the position of CEO, CEO at Public Interest Group Kenya. Now, his accolades go on and on and on, but I do would I would like to cut this short so that he can introduce himself appropriately. Good morning, sir. Yes. Welcome to set. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. Did you enjoy a little banter in the mm, intro? Yes, yes, it is very fantastic. Yes? I really enjoy it. Uh -huh. Why are you so happy? It's Monday. No, it's Monday and it's also a unique day for me because I'm in a TV station. Uh huh. Yes. The uh, best TV station, by the way. It's not easy for a person to come into a place like this. Uh huh. Yes. You honor us. So yes. many accolades. You would be so humble to say you're blessed to be here. Uh, we are blessed, actually. <laughs> 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 All right, unless is it anything I missed out or skipped in your uh, bio? Uh, introduce me. Would you like to emphasize on something? Yes, uh, Lavio Yogi is, uh, has also served as an MCA. Uh -huh. Nairobi Central Business District. Wow. For two consecutive times. How did that but go? But lost slightly. Slightly. Yes. Uh, actually, last uh, general election. Uh huh. I was one of the people who were in the ballot. Okay. Yes. Are you planning to do it again in 2027? Uh, exactly. Relentlessly? Yes, a lot okay. continue. Ah, I yes. like that. Okay, <laughs> yes. okay. Yes. What else uh, do you want to highlight about yourself before uh, we get to the topic? Again, Live Your Yugi is a human rights activist, as you've, as, as you've said. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm also a philanthropist. Uh-huh. Uh, Live Your Yugi is also uh, a tribal leader. Uh-huh. I can say a spiritual tribal leader. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Lavi Yugi is it's like a tree. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. And it carries tree. many things. Uh -huh. Yeah. Please help me understand what a spiritual and tribal leader is. You know, a uh, sp uh, spiritual leader, when uh, actually my tribe want to do uh, certain things, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, uh, they used to call me. Mm -hmm. uh, to foresee or to advise mm -hmm. and also to give direction, mm -hmm. especially to the youths okay. within my community, within right. my tribe. Uh -huh. And uh, it is a position which people uh, look after and uh, people are being elected mm -hmm. through my tribe. Okay. Yes, so I was wow. elected. L I'm uh, truly I in the uh, presence uh, of greatness. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... That's okay. Yeah, that is how it is. All right. Yeah. Okay. Is there like a particular council, like how yeah, we have a structure? Yeah, it's a house of council. It's a council actually, uh -huh. which advises the youth and mentors the youths, and uh, also try to educate the youths according to the rules and the regulations of law. Mm -hmm. How law should live, uh, what laws uh, actually uh, the, the, the the culture of law, mm -hmm. totally. We talk about the culture of my tribe mm -hmm. and the uh, things which we should not do, things we should do, 
Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I feel like asking some more questions, I just drop a couple of pearls of wisdom, but that's not why we're here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, where do we start? Let me ask you something off the top of my head. We have been having, it started with El Nino yes. a few months ago, that yeah. is 2023. Yes. And for a while we speculated that it was gonna be very heavy rains. And the president even came out at some point, at some mungu ni nani, El Nino is not coming. Yes. If you, I really wish we had that clip it played back. And then El Nino did come eventually. Mm. Yeah. And something that had a complete budget, uh, speaking for the county that is Nairobi, yes. something that had a complete budget and in, in very big figures, very, very big figures, uh, even with boats and all these other paraphernalia just to help during that particular season. But we really didn't see anything going on. In fact, what we saw was destruction of all kinds of property and all these other things, right? So now El Nino came and went, and then now we had uh, sunshine. Just, I'm not a meteorologist. Uh, the people with the weather, I'm not that, I'm not a professional. But now, a few weeks ago, a few days ago, came the flash floods. So. I really don't understand what's happening. Is it is it that we are uh, not really? I don't know how to say how, how to express myself. Are, are we not really understanding the weather? Is something going wrong, or are we just not prepared as a people? What do you think is going on? Kwa ground sana sana. First of all, with uh, this menace of El Nino, we must all of us we must accept that uh, even the weather forecast they are not God. Even those who are doing the budget for the El Nino, mm -hmm. actually to handle the menace of El Nino within the Nairobi County, mm -hmm. nobody knew the extent of the El Nino, Vile mm Ingekua, -hmm. Vile mm -hmm. So according to me and according to the people on the ground, mm -hmm. we see Nairobi actually uh, governor's tried mm -hmm. all the all he was uh, all uh, all he can mm -hmm. to have this maintenance of El Nino. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, according to the budget which was allocated to El Nino to cover the, this maintenance, uh, if we see if we if we see how the governor has utilized the money, mm -hmm. uh, we are even uh, sorry to the governor. He has actually gone to the other pocket. Mm -hmm. Governor has done a lot mm -hmm. to actually counter this El Nino. Mm -hmm. You see. Uh, Children, uh, uh, youth have been employed. Mm -hmm. uh, new machines mm -hmm. to unlock the sewage mm -hmm. has been bought. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, the county has tried. You cannot see that. We cannot say, you see the darkness we unite in the house or we lie. We say lie that mm -hmm. uh, the money has lost. Mm -hmm. It can work. Mm -hmm. It is only that uh, at Tuku Kwatu, I expect. Budget it is more than three hundred million. Mm -hmm. El Nino. Mm -hmm. So, so far, so good mm -hmm. with this uh, issue of El Nino. Ni vile tuwa tuwezi sema ati kazi ya ijatendeka mm -hmm. ama kwa sababu hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua kiwango mbua inaweza nyesha. Hata even the weather focused themselves, mm -hmm. they are not aware mm -hmm. and they cannot be aware. Mm -hmm. It is only God mm -hmm. ambaye anaweza jua kiwango ya mbua vile itakuwa. Mm -hmm. So, hakuna mtu tunaweza laumu. Mm -hmm. katika hii menance ya El Nino mm -hmm. ata flood ikuwe mingi mm -hmm. ama ikuwe kidogo mm -hmm. to the estimate okay. but we are not aware all right. Yeah. Let me take this moment to issue a disclaimer that all the sentiments that are being expressed here do not reflect those of the station. Facts will remain facts, but again, innuendos, sentiments, and any other type of feeling that you may feel has been expressed, it does not reflect those of the station. So let me challenge you, sir. Uh, there was recently an earthquake in Japan. And after this particular earthquake, there was a warning because of when there's seismic activity, and it's really next to a water body, there was an, a warning, an alert for a possible tsunami. So you see, they possibly did not really plan for the, the earthquake and its magnitude, but they now took the next step to warn people against a looming tsunami. We are not a first world country. 
Japan is a first world country. Yeah. So I can, you know, I can close one eye. Naza jificha tu kidogo ni semeni sawa. They have, their technology is a little bit more advanced than ours, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's, I think it's a bit rough to say that no one knew or no one could predict because it's a whole department that is supposed to, that has been delegated to do this one job. Bruchetska, you ha only had one job. Yeah. Uh, you only had one job. Yeah. And what does that have to do with drainage? Why hasn't our drainage been fixed? You know, not saying that there's a budget and has been tripled or doubled, and, and we're trying to applaud, again, sentiments, but I'm just asking a question. We're trying to applaud the county government, and I do believe they have done something. But to back to ground, we have to say, if you want to go to the ground, if you want to go to the ground, if you want to go to it's ridiculous. It is up. Ata tuja guza na Mombasa. Mombasa is in the county ingine. Tunabaki yeah. tu Nairobi. Mombasa walikuwa na swim. Yeah. Ata kwa barabara. Garis na shindo ata kupita. Yes. But why is drainage still a problem? Mm? Flash floods have come. Hopefully they've gone. El Nino has come. And this is, by the way, very double-sided. This is a... Th it's like a coin. There's two sides to it. So the agriculture sector is possibly benefiting because of the downpour, yes. Mm. But now, kwa ground, tuna patakata fulani, we're not able to move properly. You know, uh, transport is doubling. Not to Yes, the, the fuel prices have dropped by, what, five shillings. But now it's even getting harder to move. You could have moved via foot or you could walk somewhere. Now, lazima utukwe boda because it's impenetrable. And now you want us to clap. No, it is not that I want us to clap, mm -hmm. but I want us to live in reality. Okay, let's. Uh, the reality which is here is that nobody knows mm -hmm. the amount of rain. Mm -hmm. Actually, even as I have told you, as mm -hmm. I have told the nation. Don't you think we can plan for the worst case scenario? No, 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 no. We cannot, uh, ac what we can uh, do is uh, public particip participation, mm -hmm. which the county has done. Mm -hmm. Before the, the, the El Nino start, mm -hmm there was a public participation. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, as a uh, uh, chairman of Bungala Wanahinchi, mm -hmm. we had public participation before even the county recruit the people who are going to oversee the, the issue of El Nino. Mm -hmm. We, first of all, get educated mm -hmm. through our platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, it is not for free. Mm -hmm. The county government cut up for this fee. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, we cannot say that uh, there is water everywhere in the city mm -hmm. uh, because uh, according to the city, how the city was, uh, was uh, mapped, mm -hmm. it has been like that, mm -hmm. not only this time. Mm -hmm. Even during Kidero, during mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ladwa, mm -hmm. during uh, uh, Kanan, mm -hmm. People have been seeing this. Rain in Kenya, Kenya. Mm -hmm. It is not only this time. Mm -hmm. Na aijafanya ata majabu. Mm -hmm. Kubwa kushinda zile imefanya hapo awali. Mm -hmm. If we compare mm -hmm. to the other rains mm -hmm. uh, ambayo imekoi menyesha. Mm -hmm. You remember there was uh, the last rain ambayo ilinyesha. Mm -hmm. Ili, ilifungwa mpaka Western Hotel. Mm -hmm. But by now, we just care to mali ata those uh, kind of uh, in, in issues ya kwamba Hilton Hotel imeja maji ya manini. Mm -hmm. Hii na kukwanyesha ya kwamba at least mm -hmm. county government, despite mm -hmm. hii maji tunaona imetapa tapa, mm -hmm. wamejaribu. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu there are some incidents we cannot see. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, a, as an example, kulikuwa na wahindi walikuwa wanalia pale inda mm -hmm. ya kwamba Maji na ingia kwa manyumba zao, mm -hmm. awezi fanya atakazi. Mm -hmm. This time round, atujasikia ata mwitu moja matokea. Mm -hmm. Musema nyumba yake imejia maji. Mm -hmm. Ni wanainji tu wanaona mali kidogo ya kutembe, mm -hmm. ya kutembe. Kwa mm -hmm. hivyo, pali mingi ambayo inaingisia Nairobi biashara, mm -hmm. kazi inaendelea. Mm -hmm. Ni vile tu, sisi atuwezi kuwa mungu, tujue mm -hmm. mvoa itanyesa tu wango gani. Mm -hmm. But... So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Kazi imetendeka mm -hmm. na atuwezi kataa ya kwamba. Mm. Atuwezi yona maji ambayo imetapika. Chatapika kidogo tuseme sasa kazi ya imelemea gavana ama nini. Do atuseme ya imekua sawa kabisa. Mm -hmm. But uh, out of 100%, uh, tunaweza mpea gavana 90%. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu atujakua na such kind of big incidents ambayo tunasikia mutu wamekufa kwa maji. Mm -hmm. Atujakua itangaswa tangu mm -hmm. ya nini. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 
kuna hiyo mahali mnazoea kwa kutembea tembea mm -hmm. lakini hakuna kifo incidence ya kifo mm -hmm. uh, you can bear me a witness mm -hmm. yes all right i will skate past that a little bit but not kabla tumalizia hii topic I'd, i'd like to ask do you believe that uh, it's it's a bit dangerous over time for activists to be vocal during this particular season there's a there's a i don't want to name names again i'm trying to be very sensitive to uh, these these people who are in the limelight saying specific things but there was a particular lady on x formerly twitter alikuwa mahali tu paipu mali kulikuwa na maji mingi and she was very adamant and he kept uh, even tagging s uh, his honorable sakaja eh hapa by the kuna maji mingi sana sana nini 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 but it, it turned out as the story kept unfolding that she received a couple of threats uh, no i don't really uh, again i'm really trying to be sensitive with the story but she did she was threatened and we have someone else who lost their lives again i don't want to mention their name but they have been making news by the way for a, a bit even in the newspapers so is it a problem to be vocal about certain things in in this time and era <coughs> at all uh, it is not uh, dangerous to be vocal mm -hmm. I want to affirm this to you mm -hmm. because uh, uh, staying without uh, being without being kukua uh, without uh, being vocal mm -hmm. ina umiga watu na kuna vile watu wanaweza jua mm. chenye kinatendeka mm -hmm. na ni vile hatuwezi kuwa vocal to the extent mm -hmm. ambaye tunakuwa vocal ya kuaribia mm -hmm. because kama uh, as we've said uh, kuna watu mtu umesema ya kwamba alikuwa anapiga simu mm -hmm. aweza kusaidia mhm mm mtu we have uh, kuna watu wanakuwa planted mm -hmm. with the political enemies okay so we cannot say that all these things are problems are these allegations kuna or the, the facts Pardon? are these allegations or these are facts uh, these are allegations mm -hmm. some of them most of them are allegations mm -hmm. which have not been proven mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot just account that uh, kuna kitu kama hiyo before we we know the the, the factual uh, uh, fact about it mm -hmm. and uh, as you know mtu uh, kama governor he has a lot of uh, enemies mhm mm wale kwa wanapigana nao mhm mm hakuna mtu angependa kuona kazi yake mzuri mhm mm na uh, kuna wengine pia wangependa kuona kazi yake mzuri mm -hmm. unafata mtu amechukua uh, picha ya zamani mm -hmm ame post ni kama picha ya saa hii mm -hmm. na ina trend mm -hmm. ya kwamba kuna mahali imejaa maji mm -hmm. ama kuna uh, vile kuna maji inapeleka na it is not something which is uh, being done uh, being happen at the current mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. so unaweza ona gavana pande nyingine unaona mtu wako loyal na kabisa na anafanya kitu inafaa mm -hmm. na kumbe hii kitu ni kitu amekuwa planted with another opponent. Mm -hmm. So this is why unaona kuna some cases mm -hmm. ambayo inatokea na ukistudy well unapata mm -hmm. these are man made cases. Mm -hmm. These are cases which have been created by the man mm -hmm. to gain political marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is why we are saying that mali pazuri wasisemekana na mali pabaya pia wasisemekana. Mm -hmm. So far so good in Nairobi. Mhm. Mm Atijaona shida. Mm -hmm. Mimi kama chairman ya wale wako chini, mm -hmm. wale wabunge wako chini. Mm -hmm. Sisi hatujaona shida mm -hmm. na kazi ya county. Mm -hmm. Kitu tunawaomba ni waongeze tu mahali wamefika. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu ukiangalia apart from even this maintenance of drainage. Mhm. Mm eh Nairobi county has done a lot. Mm -hmm. In terms of even feeding uh, school children. Mm -hmm. see, Sagaya, there were actually allegations that that, that that some something was happening the funds were being siphoned somewhere else but again those were just allegations mm -hmm. but you are clearly standing by him uh huh yes okay so uh, what i would like to advise the people that we should ignore this uh, mayor allegation mm -hmm. and focus mm -hmm. with the main work okay and uh, with the with the things which Nairobi has voted the governor to do for us mm -hmm. which we are actually seeing Mhm. Mm Inatendeka. Okay. So let us just give the governor and his team mm -hmm. humble time what we call benefit of doubt mm -hmm. in these five years. Mhm. Mm Tuone mali atatofikisha. So far, mm -hmm. naona kuna 90%.
Okay. Yes. That's very confident of you to say. One plus year down the line and you feel already 90% of his promises have been. Yes. Oh, wow. I like that zest he's keeping. All right. No, no. We should have campaign. I know that. Kidogo to. Si sana. Hashtag is why the body. All right. Let's switch gears a little bit and talk about uh, a time like this last week. I had a guest from the Law Society of Kenya. So we're talking about when it was really heated, the... What seemed like, again, seemed, allegations seemed, seemed like friction between uh, the, the three arms of a government, Sana Sana, the executive and the judiciary. Yes. So we went on to explain what the uh, National Assembly does, what the executive does, what it comprises of, how many members, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sh quite sure it's up on YouTube. And then now we have the judiciary. So is there friction or what, what would you say is going on right now in Kenya? Right now, to me, mm -hmm. as a Kenyan, mm -hmm. what I can say, the fact is that uh, there's, a, there's a political, uh, w w I don't know how I can put it, but kuna sida ambayo inaingia, inataka kuingia kisiasa. Na inaletwa na wanasiasa. Lakini rais wa inchi, ambayo ameamua kufanyia watu kazi mm -hmm. anajaribu kuiokoa hii maneno ya siasa ambayo inaletwa mm -hmm. so hiyo shida ni gani sana katika haswa jis, katika, you see ah. eh, during election mm -hmm. kuna watu wa wapo kwa wamezidika mm -hmm. wakati the president was declared mm -hmm. that his excellency dr william ruto mm -hmm. is the president of the nation and this is not a secret because yeah. this actually went to court to yes, the highest court of the yes, country yes. Mm -hmm. so the offended people mm -hmm. the people who think that uh, election vizuri, they are trying to create what we call seeds of discord mm -hmm. uh, um, between the judiciary mm -hmm. and the uh, executive mm -hmm. and they want also to bring in the legislative legislative mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. within this war mm -hmm. so the president is out to unite the country everybody's aware mm -hmm. and everybody's supporting this mm -hmm. when the president called for this uh, moment of peace to unite the country mm -hmm. to leona uh, the person who lost mm -hmm. uh, i will not fear to call his name mm -hmm. Raila Molo mm -hmm. he came out all protocols and observed. Defended mm -hmm. the judiciary mm -hmm. before even the judiciary speak for itself. Mm -hmm. And by this is a Kenya to Ukiangalia vile raisi ali ongea. Raisi alitaka tu kuleta amani. Alitaka tu kuita mandugu wa upande wa judiciary, upande wa legislative, na ye pia kama mkubwa wa executive wakae pamoja mm -hmm. wasikilizane ni kama wa Kenya warudi pamoja mm -hmm. lakini mali tumefika kuna wa Kenya ambao wanafikiria atuwezi kaa pamoja mm -hmm. lazima tukue tunabishana mm -hmm. lazima tukue tunashindana nguvu mhm mm tuweze kuishi lakini it is high time we unite mm -hmm. and we support the noble idea of His Excellency, mm -hmm. Dr. Ruto, mm -hmm. ya kuunite both the executive, mm -hmm. judiciary, na legislative. Okay. Because, uh, ata tukisema nini, mm -hmm. Rais wa inchi, who is the head of executive, mm -hmm. remains the head of the state. Mm -hmm. Na ata watu wa judiciary, ata kome anajua, mm -hmm. she is working under His Excellency Rais mm -hmm. Ruto. Okay. Ata speaker wa bungu, mm -hmm. Moses Wetangulu. Mm -hmm. Mali hako anajua, mkubwa wa enchi ni nani? Mm -hmm. Ni raisi excellency. ruto. Okay. Ata mkubwa wa jeshi. Hata mm -hmm. wanaenchi ambayo wa mchagulewa. Mm -hmm. Atuwezi danganyana, mm -hmm. atingufu. Do koti ndio inatupea uraishi. Mm -hmm. Na inatusaidia sa hile tumedhulumiwa. Na sisi wote tunaenda koti kupereka madhalalishi yetu. Mm -hmm. Lakini hile kitu tunajua katika haya yote kiongozi ambaye amepewa nguvu ya kulinda nchi mm -hmm. ni rais mm -hmm. William Ruto lakini kiongozi ambaye amepewa jukumu la kulinda katiba ni sisi wote mm -hmm. si judiciary ya peke yake mm -hmm. wewe mimi na anybody okay is uh, entitled mm -hmm. to protect the constitution okay 
the year. I am under the impression that the opposition, opposition's main work is to keep the government of the day in check. Yes. Uh, are you alluding to maybe sabotage? And, and if, as you answer that question, what does corruption mean to you in all this? To me, corruption uh, in all this, uh, by the time you are uh, trying to bring confusion when the president call for, who called the people to unite, mm -hmm. this, is as, this is an example of corruption. Because somebody wants to corrupt him, uh, himself mm -hmm. through this process, mm -hmm. want to tell this the people mm -hmm. that this is not the right process, this is not the right channel mm -hmm. we should go. Mm -hmm. uh, corruption, we have several different of corruption. You see at him, kuiba tu pesa ku, ya serikali ya umu. Ata kudanganya wanainchi, that is corruption. Okay. Corruption ni ile tabia ambaye unafanya, mm -hmm. lakini si tabia ambaye inafuraisha wa wengine, mm -hmm. ama inafuraisha watu. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is now becoming corruption. Okay. Now becoming a corrupt person. Mm -hmm. Unafanya kitenda mbae. Mm -hmm. Watu wafurai ama isaidisha chato. Mm -hmm. Ama inaleta shida katikati ya watu. Mm -hmm. So tunaona hapa corruption ya tokia kwa hawa watu. Mm -hmm. Ambae wanajaribu kupiganisha. Mm -hmm. Raisa kajaribu kuunganisha. Mm -hmm. So we can call them corrupt people. I'd like to understand how you felt when the members of LSK, that's it, the Lawyers Society of Kenya, they took to picketing, that is peaceful demonstration, to a peaceful protest, uh, around Friday past, to not this one, the other one. So how did you feel about that and, and seeing that it was indeed peaceful, even had police escort? Do you think there was a valid reason for them to, because they went on protest or they picketed because they felt that His Excellency made sentiments that were not very, uh, I want to say fair? Again, being very sensitive with the topic and, and my words. So how do you feel about that particular one? And of course, we saw people like His Honorable Kalonzo Musioka with full regalia. How did you feel about that? Uh, it actually, it was a total of time wasting. Why would you? That is a yeah, very it strong it sentence. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> very a total strong. of time wasting. Okay. Because uh, the issue here, which they were demonstrating about, mm -hmm. the president, Akusema uh, Sechotenbae, if you go according to what they were demonstrating about. Mm -hmm. They were demonstrating about the speech, uh, speech of the president. Mm -hmm. Like the president, Aliyosema Nini, Anataka, Judiciary, Na Executive, mm -hmm. Na Legislator, wa Washikane, mm -hmm. Waonge kama kuna shida. Na tena, mm -hmm. Walisema, there, wa, there are some corrupt judges. Mm -hmm. Kusema corrupt judges, I mean, this is sasa, the entire judiciary ni corrupt. Mm -hmm. Na president, hakuna opinion yake kama mkenya. Mm -hmm. Ye pia inaweza kuwa kuna mahali aliumizo mm -hmm. kama mkenya. And it is high time. Kila mm -hmm. mtu ambaya naona, amekua infringed. Mm -hmm. Right yake amekua infringed in any way. Mm -hmm. It is high time ya kutoka inji na kusema. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu watu takana maneno kwa roo. Mm -hmm. Kama judiciary imeenda vibaye. Mm -hmm. Raisi akisema ya kwamba niliona deputy Rais, Rigaji mm -hmm. Gachagua, mm -hmm. alijitokeza adharani na akasema sida yake. Aku kuja na njia ya corruption ya kuenda nyuma nyuma ya muenda kwa mata kume kusema ija ya linitendia hivi, mm -hmm. sasa mi nataka fanyo hivi. Ali kuja peupe mm -hmm. na akasema kuna judge fulani ambaye alinikatia uh, ukumu bila hata kuangalia mm -hmm. zile nimestakewa. Mm -hmm. Was that corruption? That was corruption. So what were L LSK wale walijitokeza kupiga hiyo demonstration na kufanya hiyo maandamano mm -hmm. ni walikuwa wanajaribu tu kufunika mm -hmm. aibu yao mm -hmm. ili aibu ambayo inatendeka katika judiciary mm -hmm. ndio wanajaribu kufunika lakini sisi kama wanaharakati wa, wa inchi mm -hmm. na harakati ya binadamu mm -hmm. tunapeleka kesi kotini mm -hmm. we are not advocate i'm not an advocate mm -hmm. i can but I'm an activist. I've filed many cases, mm -hmm. including the case of Ryan Mugana Miguna and Kona Shinda Kutusi Raela Coleman Coleman. Mm -hmm. I think Sayu was key on my name. Mm -hmm. I was the one who took Mugana Miguna to court. Mm -hmm. Order Nilipata, Nilimzuia, Kosababu, Kuangea, Zilevitu, Oja Ujui, Ndio Inaleta Shida Katika Inch. Now we cannot accept that. So the justice system does work? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Last but not least, how do you feel about 
the image that is being painted in the international scene. For example, two weeks ago, Al Jazeera released a story on Kenya, and the headline or the tagline was how His Excellency, uh, the President, was in a row with the judiciary. What do you think that's going to do with, with our, our ties or connections abroad? L we've seen him going to China, to different places in the world for different conventions, you know, trying to better the, the economy or development of the economy. And you have such stories. Do you think we're taking 10 steps forward and 25 back? Or what do you think is happening? <laughs> Actually, we are taking 25 steps forward. Uh -huh. Because uh, when you see President is visit visiting these different countries, mm -hmm. it's really lowering for the opportunity for the youth of this country. Umejua vizuri katika inchi yetu ya Kenya. Kumekua na vijana wamesoma wengi. Na tuko na ukosefu wa kazi. Na we cannot rely only the labor mm -hmm. of our own country. President has done mm -hmm. all the necessary can. Amejaribu kutembea inchi, kujaribu mm -hmm. kutafuta nafasi kwa vijana. Mm -hmm. Ambaye, sisi kama wana inchi wa Kenya, tunahona mm -hmm. hii raisi anajaribu kujenga inchi, anajaribu kujenga economy. Ambaye mwenye macho, mm -hmm. tunasema ambiu kutazama. Mm -hmm. Sisi wenye tunahona. Mm -hmm. Raisi ameenda inchi fulani, ame, ame develop good relationship, ameongea, ame... Ongea, ame ametunganishia vile vijana wana, wanaweza enda huko. Wewe kama ni vijana wa inchi na utaki kwa fly hile kitu. Kazi yako ni kupinganisha. Mm -hmm. Utabaki tu kwa papati. Sisi tunaenda mbele mm -hmm. Na tunaona kazi ya raisi. Mm -hmm. Actually, raisi amejaribu ame vile anaweza. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tukuna opportunity abroad. Mm -hmm. Vijana wetu wamesoma saa hii labda urege. Mm -hmm. Kama we ni mtu wa media personality kama we. Mm -hmm. Ukitaka kutoka KBC. Mm -hmm. Raisha unaweza enda inchi ya yote. Because so saa hii our country mm -hmm. tuko friendly mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hata okay. unaona visa tuli kuna wetu tulikubali wa ingie inchi mm -hmm. bila visa. Mm -hmm. So unaona inchi kwa saa. So the picture that we're painting, uh, this particular friction or f alleged friction between the judiciary and the executive, that is just water under the bridge. That's, that's actually water under the bridge. Okay. Yeah, let us just do away with that one. Okay. Yeah. I like your confidence in the way you speak. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Lao Yoibi, thank you so very much for coming. Thank you for being my guest. I'm unfortunately, we have to cut this conversation short. I will personally invite you for a, a lengthier conversation at another time. Yeah. Is that okay? I, although I might have to ask the administ administrator, hi, please admin, please confirm or deny this particular case in point. At white 54 Facebook, white 54 channel on X, white 54 underscore channel on the gram. My name is Valentine or at color me Val. Concluding a riveting conversation with myself and Mr. Lawi Oyubi. Thank you once again. And please, I implore you do not leave because we still have so much more for you please do interact with us on our socials i've just given you well they will be somewhere over here on the lower thirds brian sakwa 101 is coming as for me i'll see you in a little bit